Hey, this is Mirbloff, and this is Mirbloff Builds, and what I'm doing right now is I'm going to build a tree farm. Uh, you may notice a couple of new buildings right there and over there. Uh, we'll get to that after I finish building this tree farm. And what I'm going to do first here is just uh, level out this terrain, and I want it to be about from here. To you know, somewhere over here, how about here, and I might have to extend it depending on how many trees I can fit in here. But I'm not going to time lapse it because this isn't going to take very long, and I can talk about a few things uh, as I do so. Uh, let me fill in this dirt. Um, So what I have planned next, besides doing more houses, is a town guard barracks. Um, I think pretty soon here, if I don't build uh, more houses, I'm going to uh, build the uh, water mill I was talking about before, way early on, and well not way early on, but quite a few episodes ago somewhere down there by the river, next to these woodcutters, wood-cutting houses. And okay, I want to dig that out and actually fill in this hole over here. It's kind of a hazard. And so I'm trying to balance out, uh, like, building houses and, like, commercial slash uh, like, I haven't built any recreational buildings yet, or areas. I might build a park, but i got to build a library, and the library isn't exactly what it sounds like. It's not like a public library. It's uh, more in the fantasy sense of more like a, a wizardy place. And the reason being is you use bookshelves to make enchantments better. So that's where enchanting will be, and that's where the wizards will hang out, I guess, is the uh, library. Alright, so I've uh, basically made the space I want to. So I'm going to start... Well, I might as well even this out, because it's probably going to bother me later on. Alright, fill this hole. And what I'm going to do is basically follow a simple pattern. Or, okay, I already messed that up. Of placing... I wonder if I'll need more cobblestone. Cobblestones like this, so that I know where to plant these trees. And I had also been doing a less organized, <coughs> a less organized tree farm already. And I'm using these trees because uh, they're the birch trees, I think is what they're called. Um, because they grow, they don't grow into super trees or like super tall trees. They uh, occasionally, you can pretty much cut down all of them from their base height, except for a couple of ones that are one taller than what you can reach and you just stand on top of the trunk basically is what I do. And so I'm going to be digging out these holes. I think I will time lapse the rest of this. Actually, because it's going to take longer than I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking, but when I get back, I will ex go over some changes that have happened. Alright. Okay, so I am done with that. I actually changed my mind about time lapsing it. All I did was really dig holes and fill with cobblestone, that's not even worth the time of a time lapse really, and one's already grown, and this is what I'm going to be using as my tree farm, I, uh, if I need any, like the other wood, you know, the, uh, the regular wood, uh, I could just cut down some of those trees, but I tend to use more of, you know, the wood planks, and I can get those from these, and these are easier to cut down if I were to make a tree farm with regular saplings. Uh, I don't have any in my inventory, but those, you know, 
regular wood there. Uh, occasionally I'd get like a very tall one and cutting those downs are not easy. They have a lot of wood but it's annoying and time consuming. But anyways, like I was saying, I was going to show these two new... Oh, I forgot, forgot one thing for them though. I built two or... Did I build two or three? I built two. Uh, I was planning on building three, but oh well. I built uh, two new woodcutter shacks. I'm getting their signs ready right now. I did that off camera, of course, because they're almost identical to these ones, except for they seem a little shorter because uh, the floor is actually built into the ground, so the exterior seems shorter. And so we were at C, so wood cutter shack. Oop. Shack 1D. Down of Mirgloff. And I also built another house off camera. It's uh, different. I mentioned it in a previous uh, episode that I was going to build a uh, house off camera because it was basically going to be the same, but it turned out a little bit different, so I'll um, find it difficult to type in. Town of Mirgoff. Okay. And their interior is basically, well, I haven't gotten around to putting beds and chests in there yet. But, so I'll go ahead and show the other house, which I built. It's very similar to the uh, two-story townhouses that I built. Uh, these ones right here, it's got a similar shape, but it's actually longer than these. And it seems a little bit skinnier, but I think that's just because it's longer. Yeah, I thought it was going to be... Pretty much, I thought it was going to be a duplicate version of one of these, but the shape was different. It's longer, and oh, okay, I can. I also have that like that because I needed grass to grow in there. Actually, I want cobble. Go right there because I was going to plant some flowers, but other than the flowers. This house is complete. I also need to put some slabs there, but I'll worry about that later. Actually, I will fix the grass right here, because that's only like this, because I needed the dirt to connect so that I can get the grass to grow. But it is grown, so I'll plant flowers there soon enough. So this is the basic, uh, the usual main room. There's this uh, sort of doorway into this little garden room, and I made that that hole right there with two staircases. In case you can't tell, I place one staircase like this in that corner, and another over there. I sort of made that archway. I think it looks cool. And there's uh, a uh, couch, a wooden couch, but you know that's. The only way to build couches in Minecraft of overlooking at this window which has a good view at the moment although there will be probably the lower half will be covered by a house and those houses but you should still be able to see the trees once those are all built so it ended up being oh yeah and there's these uh, this chest rack so it ended up being quite significantly different Otherwise, I would have, if I'd known that, I would have actually made a video of me making this house, but oh well. And it is available if you want your name on this sign, you know, just leave a comment below asking for it. First come, first serve, as usual. And that is the extent of the changes off camera since the previous video. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And. Thank you for watching.